Okay, so who here wants to create their YouTube videos as fast as possible, right? And who here is tired of spending so much time editing their videos? And you want your videos to look just like mine, your favorite YouTuber. Oh, that wasn't cool. Mm. What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Low Nose where we go over audio, video, tech tips and also where I like to share my voiceover experiences with you as well. Okay, so I'm doing this video today because my son has his own YouTube channel, Squiggly Glitch. Go ahead, check it out right there, show him some love. He's just like me, just a little younger and still trying to figure things out. But the thing is, when he does his videos, I'm the one left setting up, recording, editing and all that stuff and it gets really, really time consuming and there's got to be a faster way to do all of this. So I decided to set things up where if he wanted to make videos, he just got in front of the computer, pre press a couple record buttons, and he's off and running, recording his videos. I'm going to show you how to do that, how we do that right now. Let's go. All right, so let's start off fresh so you have a sense of what to do from start to finish. We will call this OBS YouTube. That's okay. All right, now we're, we're starting off with a clean slate. So let's go to settings. We want to make sure that we have our pre prep stuff all set to go so it is ready every single time we start our video. So we will go to audio. And as you can see right here, everything is disabled because right now we have no audio checks, audio tracks within our mixer. So first, let's go to our desktop audio device. This is going to be where everything that comes from the game will be recorded, not including our microphone um, or our headset audio. We just want to record the computer game audio. So my device, I will use my Realtek, um, output Realtek high definition audio. That will be my sound card. My desktop audio device too, that could probably be maybe like um, if you were recording like game chat, you could set that specifically to be like your specific team game chat. We will skip that for now. Now mix your mic auxiliary audio device. This will be my main microphone. And this is gonna be my microphone right here. The, the Rode NTG2 is a like shotgun microphone. I, I like doing this with for all my uh, gaming YouTube videos or for my son's gaming YouTube videos. Okay, so I will pick this. It is connect. This microphone is actually connected to a USB device. So this is separate from our audio, from our sound card. Now, for our mic number two, I like using a secondary mic source just as a backup because you never know what's going to want to happen. What's going to happen? Sometimes when you record your videos with an OBS, you might have some kind of weird delay. And it's nice to have a second audio track where maybe you can line something up with, or maybe if just you're one of your recordings is just bad, at least you have some kind of secondary audio device to grab something else with. Now, the, the audio from the microphone is not going to be that great, but at least you got something. It's not all is not lost. Okay, so we'll go with that. We'll apply that. And you see right here, everything is all set up. I should have my microphone muted. And there we go. So now we this is my main microphone, right right here. Let me, let me mute the mic too. Here's my main microphone and mic, my uh, webcam audio is right here. So it's all catching everything. Um, to go okay so right now we have no desktop audio as you can see so let's let's get that going okay so right now I have I actually have Minecraft running in the background okay so what I am going to do now is I'm now gonna add my I'm not gonna add the Minecraft game as a source to OBS all right so I will go ahead and go to sources to press a pl press uh, the plus button and go to game capture now, let me show you one thing first. You can either do display capture, which will grab the display, your main display. You can choose right here, display one or display two. Okay. And this will capture anything that is happening on your PC screen. That means it will capture everything. If you have like a Skype notification, a Discord notification, or like, hey, Windows has an update notification, it will pop up there. If you want to avoid that, you can always do game capture and game capture will just capture the specific program that you want it to capture so we will go to capture specific window window and then go to my you know minecraft and that's what's running now if any kind of pop-up uh shows up it won't show it won't display so you'll be good to go um as far as that is as far as that's concerned okay now let me give you a heads up uh this will not always work with all games 
the uh, the capture mode and the capture specific window. I have like Street Fighter V on the PC, and for some reason, whenever I try to capture using this option, it will not capture. There's something about the executable file, executable file within Street Fighter that will not work with OBS. So keep in mind that this may not work with every single game. So you might have to jump back and forth between game capture and display capture. Uh, depending on what game you're playing. I know game capture does work with Roblox and, of course, Minecraft as well. Okay, so we will okay that. And now, um, okay, we, we see right here, it looks like it is not picking up our audio. So let's switch our our source. What's our, what's our audio source right here? Why is it not picking up? High definition output. Oh, okay. It wants to see the speakers. All right, well, there you go. All right, so now we have everything. Everything's mixed differently. Now, let's look at our mixer. You can see how everything is straight up together. We don't want that. We want everything on a separate channel. Okay, so to make sure that you're going to have a separate channel, go to settings. Go to audio. I'm sorry. Go to output and make sure within recording that your audio is in, has different tracks here. Okay, so we'll go back. We'll go back to our mixer. And to me, the way I like to do it, I like to have my microphones as the first track and, of course, my background music as my last tracks. So for mic one, I will have that as track number one. And I'll leave for track one selected. And then for mic two, I'll leave that as track two and I'll unselect everything else. And then for my desktop audio, I will go ahead and make, make that track three and I will uncheck everything else. So when we take our file into our uh, video on our video editing program, we will show our separate tracks. Okay, so everything is good to go. Everything is separated. If for some reason you didn't want to separate that, you could leave everything there, but you would just have to make sure you pre-do everything from here, making sure that your levels are adjusted nice um, within the mix. Okay, so that is good. Now, let's start making this look like a real uh, gaming, whatchamacallit. Okay, so I'm going to go back here, and we will now add a video capture device, which is our web camera. So we'll, go, we'll do that. I will select my webcam, C922, boom, and there it is. Now, you have an option. You can either leave it as a square or you can go to resolution type, right, custom, and you can switch your own kind of resolution. Whoops, no, I don't want to do that. That's, that's a little too high. There you go. Well, you know, you can switch it to 1080, and then you have the option here to do whatever you want. You can resize it. If you hold the alt button, you actually you actually crop it. How, however you like. Now, for some reason, you ever come to a point where you're like, oh crap, I don't like the way this looks. Right click the little circle here, go to transform and then reset transform and then you're good to get, you're, you're back to normal. So, but I'm gonna stay with the little cube. So I'll go ahead and go from custom back to the device default. Okay, and we'll put it there. And then using my arrow keys on my keyboard, I can actually get little minute, minute adjustments on the bar. Give myself a spacing out because I want to put a background behind this. Okay, so now before we do that, let us go ahead and let's create an actual title. You know, let, let, let's make this look official, like we're actually some kind of straight up YouTubers and we've got a little handle, little handle on our video. So I will go ahead and let's do low nose because low nose uh i will change it to i like i like this font it looks really cool kg yeah kg and tim and tim okay let's bring let's make it bigger all right and i'm using tyler pro but you can use any program you like you can use photoshop vegas pro if you like or just um windows paint w whatever you use to actually make your titles this will work all right so let's let's um I'm going to add an outline and I'm going to make my outline white because I, I have a good, a good sense of what I want to do with uh, my name. Let's make this a little thicker. Yeah, cool. All right, and then let's go back to my color of my letters and I will make my lettering black because like I said before, I, I know how I want to. And you can always play with this. It doesn't have to be a solid color. You can mix up your colors and just kind of do however you want with this. Okay, once that is done and, and I'm happy with what I got, I will then export it, image, and I will call this my low, whoops, you see how many low nose I have? Make sure I wanted to get this right before doing this video. Low nose final, and I will do that, okay? And then 
let's go ahead and add it. So I will then go to the add. I will do image. And now I will now search for my image, the one that we just created. Browse. I put on my desktop, low nose, final. There we go. There you go. Okay, so here we go. Now it is on my desktop. I will go ahead and just bring it over and I will resize it. Oh, nope. I just messed that up. Low nose. Let me click on image. Get a hold of the, get a hold of it. Let's resize it up. Okay. And now let's go ahead and put a background behind the video capture or the webcam. I'll go to plus and I already have this set up because I, I just grabbed like a white background from Vegas Pro. But you can get any texture or um, image from Google Online, whatever, and just kind of lay it behind your uh, your video capture or your video. And you can also put video behind video as well to just kind of like have fun, make some kind of uh, cool little dynamic or, or custom setup. So I will go to image and I'm going to find that white background that I created. Here we go. Here we go. Image one. And this is the reason why I had the white outline. Now, as you can see, when we first started it, it put my white background on the straight top. And that always happens whenever you add a new source, it's going to put it straight on the top. So what you do is you want to go, you want to drag it down right below your video capture device. So it's now underneath your, your video. So we'll go ahead. Well, I'll drag it. I'll go ahead and I'll put it right here in the corner. It's a little space thickness that I'm happy with. Okay. That looks good. Okay. And I'll just set okay. And then boom. So if I, if I wanted to change something, I'd probably make maybe the outline on the low nose a little brighter. I'd probably go back and maybe change it. Maybe have the white match a little more to my name, but it's fine the way it is right now. Okay. So let's do a little gameplay. Let's, let's bring, uh, there we go. Let's bring it back up and everything's set. My audio is going, I am recording fully and let's go ahead and let's press record. Okay. So now we are recording fully. Um, I will go ahead and there we go. Let's play. You can actually see my, that's actually my son's account. Yeah, let's start the trial. All right. And then and then here we are. We're good. You know, everything's set. Got my picture up in the corner. My audio is all set. Let's record. Blah, blah, blah. Hey, guys, what's up? Blah, blah. So like, 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 subscribe, and all that good stuff. And woo, hit the bell button. Okay, so once we're done with that, let's take... Let's take... There we go. All right. So once we're done with that, let's go ahead. Let's take our recording. We can stop recording. Okay. Then we will go into our audio editing program. I like to use Vegas. You can use whatever you like. And I will get my latest. Here it is. 618, 10, 50. Yep. There we go. This is what we just recorded. Nope. And now you can see all the different elements within our our thing so let us so this is track one is our vocal track with them with our main mic this is our track two is our uh webcam mic and of course this is our audio from the game so let's take it let's listen to it separately and there we go let's play you can actually see my and then our backup audio and there we go Let's play it. You can actually see my, and of course our game audio. All right. And let's play it all together. I'm, I'm going to mute the, the webcam audio. Um, I will go ahead and, go. and now I have total play control. Can I can just see my, bring the volume down my son's account. And that works. Yeah. Let's start the trial. All right. And then, and then here we are. We're good. You know, everything's set. Got my, that's it. And the only thing you have to do with this video is probably just uh, maybe add an intro or maybe some kind of cue, cues or something. Or if you, if you even wanted to, use your pan and crop and just, or your motion tracking, just zoom in on certain parts. Whoops. You can actually zoom in on certain parts of the video if just maybe like you had some kind of expression. You're like, oh my God, you know, like, like take a look at this. So your, your videos are faster, easier to actually produce and you're not worrying about the, all, all the little small little logistics. Now, what's really cool is that when you're doing this, I got to go back to low notes. Okay. With this, once you're done, you can actually save, 
save it. So if you ever had to do different things, like like let's just say like this is your YouTube gaming for this particular game setup, you can go boom. If there's if there's a different game that you have, well then go ahead and put your your next one, and that's it. Yeah, that's that's about it. It may seem like a mouthful, but trust me, guys, this will help you save lots of time. Uh, lots of headaches, and you'll be good to go. All right, guys, if you found this helpful, go ahead, leave a like, subscribe if you want to catch up more videos just like this. Um, audio, video, tech, and voiceover vlogs. I'll um, actually help you with some voiceover stuff as well. And what are you doing here? Yeah. So go ahead, check out Low Nose on social media as well. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And guys, let's start a conversation. Leave some comments down below. If you have any questions, uh, let me know what you think. If there's a better way or share with me how you like to do some things or if you've got some like cool little uh, textures for behind your videos uh, for behind your video capture, let me know. Share it, guys. Don't, don't, don't hold on to it. Until next time, guys, I will see you in the next video. Guys, don't stop making videos. I'll catch you later. Bye. Hey. All right. So if you like this video, go ahead and check out that video. If you want to see other videos that Low Nose is doing, go ahead and check out that video. Also, don't miss out on any other videos by subscribing to my channel by clicking right here. Videos and channel. God, my head is really shiny.